All right, we're connected to this 2011 Mercedes GL350, and we're looking at some data PIDs that you'd want to look at that are germane to the, the heart of the diesel common rail system. Now we're looking at top left-hand corner, we're looking at our, our, the current injected quantity. That's what the amount of fuels being injected by the injector, according to the ECM, that's what it thinks it's injecting. The rail pressure is over here in the lower right-hand corner, and we're see we're averaging about 4,400 PSI. Over in the left-hand corner, lower, that's the pressure regulating valve, so that's on the end of the rail, it's gonna be regulating the rail pressure, and it's about a 20% duty cycle. And finally, the upper right-hand corner is our quantity control valve. So that's controlling quantity along with our pressure of the rail. And this is what we think we're injecting, the upper left-hand corner and rail pressure. And keep in mind that no matter how much you know about injectors and you think, you know, I got bad injectors or whatever, if you've got a no start or a hard start, you want to make sure you're getting the right amount of pressure on the rail. Some of the pressure may be uh, being redirected back into the, into the system, you know, leaking past the pressure regulator, uh, pressure limiting valve, whatever the OEM is calling that particular component, it may be coming back through the injectors from the return side of the injectors, therefore you might blame the injectors in that case, or you may just not have enough pressure being created, you don't have enough getting to the high pressure pump, the high pressure pump is not working, whatever the case may be, look at the specifications for minimum PSI of rail pressure to start. If you don't have that, don't necessarily go jumping around looking for an injectors to replace. Look and see why you don't have enough pressure. Is it a leak somewhere? If it's a Huey, is it an oil leak somewhere? And so forth. So some engines are going to be 1500 like a Duramax minimum to start and 5000 at idle. Some are going to be like a Cummins 5000 minimum to start. So many hundred PSI for a Huey of the oil high pressure system to start and so forth. So we're going to have this engine revved up so we can see some live data on the scanner of these control pids. Go ahead and rev the engine up, just hold it at about 2,500 RPMs. And the rail pressure runs at 7, 8,000 PSI. And we see the regulating valve duty cycles coming up. Let it go back down. So our duty cycle spiked up a bit. The control valve is speeded up again, 32% on the control valve. 38%. We got five on our milligrams. Lower it down. So it depends on how fast it's spraying and how much volume you're spraying. So those are some things you want to look at. We can spend several days actually just teaching information on this one diesel engine system. And many of you have been in many diesel classes. You know what I'm talking about. You can sit for two or three days easily in the power stroke class. Same thing for the Cummins and the, the Duramax. They are all very complicated animals. And we really need to make sure we know what we're doing when we get down to a decision to replace a set of injectors.